Hey there, Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get started on your tarot reading for the month of November. Scorpio, I always look forward to doing your reading. Let's see. Let's see. You are one of my favorite signs. Yes. Believe it or not. What? Are you shocked? I know you might be. Some of you might be shocked. Did she just say what I think she said? Yes. You're one of my favorite signs. Scorpios get a lot of, they have a do you, do you, well, do you have a bad reputation? Kind of. I mean, let's be honest. You, you, you do. Um, I think, what are the two signs? The two signs they get, uh, that have the most bad reputation in the Zodiac, I would say it's probably Scorpio for water signs, Gemini. Now, this is just my opinion from what I've experienced, okay, in life, talking to people, people's reactions. Scorpio water signs, Gemini for sure, <laughs> in general as a whole, <laughs> but for air signs, um, fire signs, gosh, you know, I feel like that one's equal, equal all, all the way through. I, Aries, maybe it's Leo, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo and earth signs. Um, I would say probably, probably Virgo. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, Scorpio, what's up? What's happening? What's going on with you? Okay. Let's see. That's the eight of cups, which I just saw in cancer's reading. Maybe, maybe some of you need to, maybe some of you are dealing with a cancer. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. What's going on right now with my dear Scorpio this month of November at this very present moment, whenever that is, regardless of the date we have the princes of swords. Hey, yo, I have something to tell you. I have something to say. Maybe, yeah. Well, what is it you have? Oh, there's two cards. Okay. I have something to say and well, I am choosing to Bye-bye, say goodbye, good day, good written, something like that. Scorpio, six of swords. Hmm. I'm getting the same vibe that I got in cancer. This is, this is you, Scorpio. This is you. This is the situation. There's a person. This person could very well be you, somebody that you're dealing with. And, um, either one, you were, you're receiving communication that is flat out. I'm hearing could be very forward that says, you know what, we're not going to do this or I'm here and I'm not going, I'm not going to do this. Or if it's not being communicated directly with the page of swords, there's little hints here and there information as a whole that has been received that points to what it points to like, I'm going this other way. I'm moving away from this. I am not very happy or excited about what we have going on, what has happened. And with the six of swords, is there a conflict here? I think so a little bit, maybe not anymore, but certainly maybe there was something unpleasant at the very least with the six of swords that you, my dear, let's just say it's you, you're choosing to just move away from because it because it doesn't serve you it's just that simple but here's the thing this this seems disappointing like how sad especially so with this eight of cups like this is sad this is disappointing this is unfortunate that is happening this way um six of swords says you know what i am i'm being left no choice yeah so you're being left no choice but to you're being left no choice. And, um, some, and well, you're give you're giving somebody else no other choice, but to, to walk away. So you see, there's, there's a difference here. The six of swords is choosing. Yes. It's not like a, a, a joyful transition. This isn't fun necessarily. I'm not jumping for joy. It doesn't bring me any happiness. It doesn't bring me any joy to be doing this. But, and the truth is, I feel like I'm being forced to do this. Like I have no other choice because whatever I'm moving away from, it's just not good for me. Now that could be for many reasons. 
It could be because of where you find yourself in life right now, Scorpio. In, in your life's journey, you're going through some sort of transition, difficult transition. And well, the last thing you want is a bad experience, right? So you're, you're, you're looking ahead and then we have somebody else, right? They're moving too. They're moving forward, we could say, but this looks bitter to me. They're slouched over. Do you see how it's different? Six of swords. This person is standing tall. And they're looking forward. They're looking ahead. So they're look. You're looking. There's. You're looking forward to what's ahead. Oh yeah. And as a matter of fact, with a sense of relief. You know when you can look towards the future and you're like, oh, like I don't know. Maybe I don't. Maybe you do know. Maybe you don't know what's ahead. But you're you're looking forward to it. You're looking forward to it. You see, I don't think this person necessarily is. They're not real. They're not looking forward to what's ahead because look, look at their face. They're looking down instead of looking forward. So all of that is significant. All of that is important. Uh, let's continue. So that's what's happening. That's what's going on. Let's get some Oracle messages and we'll look into this a little bit more. Love. There's a balloon love. Okay. Tell me more. And we have surrender, change at the bottom of the deck, change, love and surrender. Hmm. So this is not a love reading that like we have a heart shaped balloon. It's kind of hard to not bring it up. <laughs> and it says love and heart, water, surrender. You're surrendering. Well, one, I feel like love is important to you guys. This could be a romantic relation connection that you have relationship, love matter, romantic matter, maybe just love things that, that involve the heart. I mean, th this is, this is what you want. This is what you're striving for. This, this, this is important, right? Your heart is important. The way you feel. The way you feel is significant, the way and you're paying attention to your, your, your heart and to your feelings. Okay. So I think that's good. And then we have water and it says surrender. I feel like this surrender is saying, you know, first of all, before I continue, I just want to say like, I think that you have grown a lot. You've grown a lot. And the fact that I'm seeing this surrender here just proves that, proves that to you. I mean, because in the past you would have tried to control this situation, but you're not doing that. You're not doing that. You're, you're, you're just saying, you know what? Things are the way that they are. And I'm okay with that. I don't want, I don't feel the need to try to fix anything. I mean, or even help anybody. Now that might sound bad. Listen, you can't help everybody, especially not when you you have to help yourself. So this is surrendering. You know what? I can't fix, I can't change what's happening right now. I am okay. I am okay. Now being okay doesn't mean that I would have chosen things to happen the way that they they happened or choosing to uh choosing things to to go the way that they're going right now. It just means that what happened has happened and what's happening right now is it's it's go it's going to happen and I have I don't have control over that. Nor 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 do I want to. I'm okay. I'm here and I'm just okay with I'm, I'm okay with doing this. I'm okay with doing this. Okay. Love heart. Yeah. You're listening. Love is important guys. Love is important. And maybe that's something that, um, I don't want to say maybe that you didn't find here, but um, let's just say that it's, it's some, it's, you know what it is. You know what you want. You want love. And it's, it's simple. I'm hearing and it's as simple as that. Okay, let me get one more. Let me get one more card from here. I feel like there's more to this heart love. Okay. 
feather messages. Messages, guys. Many of you are receiving messages this November. We see it with the Page of Swords and we see it with this, this one here. Excuse me. Many of you, I'm seeing that something's not working out with a particular person. Now, this could be certainly be a job, guys. It doesn't have to be a job. It doesn't have, even have to be something super major. It might just be something that's happening the month of November. Messages. Yeah, there's messages. Surrender, guys. Okay, for se several things. Okay, how, okay, how do I proceed? How do I proceed, Scorpio? Six of swords. Okay. Ground, ground, grounding energy, grounding. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'll have six swords. Um, I don't even think I have to. Okay. I was gonna say I don't even think I have to explain anything to you because I think you you're all you've you're you're already there. Something's not working out. I feel like this is your attitude this November. That's good. And it's it's coming out here perhaps just to bring um just to affirm something, bring awareness. I'm okay with whatever doesn't work out. If it doesn't work out, it means that it's not for me. Not only that, but you know what, guys? I feel like this is this is what I'm getting. The things that are, it's like, it's like the things that are not working out, they're only proving to you something else that will. Does that make any sense? You do you know something? I feel like you know something. You're so you've surrendered your heart. You've surrendered your heart to some to something to someone already. You've surrendered. Now it doesn't have to be love. It's just you've surrendered that you've received messages. You know you know something. And Everything that is happening this month, let's focus on the month of November. Everything that's happening, that's happened and is happening this month of November is uh, proving to you that um, maybe it's not proving, but it's, it's certainly allowing you to see what is meant for you. And because you you know this, you're not fighting for anything. If something just doesn't work out, you're like, okay, that's fine. It wasn't meant for me. It wasn't meant to happen. It's okay. All right, let's leave it at that. So one, guys, you have to you have to be patient. You need to appreciate the journey because it's not about the destination always. It's I mean, it it is. It's about the journey. You're doing a whole lot of healing right now, guys. Remain, you know, stay focused on yourself, on stay focused on what's important for each and every one of you. Your focus might differ a little bit. Just focus on what matters. Do you know what that is? And surrender everything else. Don't try to control anything. Don't try to force anything. And you're not, I don't think you're all at all. Medical staff, some of medical field, some of you. Labyrinth and patience be patient guys you've had to be very patient it's not about the destination it's about the journey i'm hearing all right let's continue all right tell me more tell me more tell me more scorpio let's see let's see well all right tell me more this month of november tell me more tell me no more what's happening right now whether it's November or not, this reading is good for whenever it finds you. Let's see. Tell me more about right now. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Two of Swords. And then we have the Three of Cups. Okay. Okay. 
Queen of Swords. Two of Swords. Three of Cups. Hold on a second, guys. Let me get one more card because I'm getting several things. Let me just narrow it down just a little bit. Boundaries. Yeah, that's what I was picking up. I'm like, is this just, is that it? I'm seeing something else. Boundaries. Yeah, I mean, you can see that. Queen of Swords, the way she's holding her sword up. So yeah, this is about boundaries, guys. Listen to your body. When in doubt, I'm hearing listen to your body. Because the Queen of Swords, maybe there could be a tendency to overanalyze or rationalize. Like, you know, am I, do I really have to act this way? Or, you know, do I really have to be this strict? Or do I really have to be this um, cold? Maybe that's not the right word. Like, do I really have to uphold these boundaries, these rules? Do I really have to have to? The answer is yes. Boundaries. Boundaries are significant. Boundaries are very important. I see you enforcing those guys. And I think that there's a need to. In fact, I feel like you're being encouraged to do that because look, the two of swords, the two of swords is saying one, you don't have all the details right now. What does that mean? It means that, listen, whatever you're looking at, it's not going to be the big, the, the big picture. There's a lot of things that are going to be missing that if you would have that information, if you would have that clarity, it will make a very big difference on your choices and your decisions. So it's important to create strong boundaries with those around you in everything it is that you do. I mean, I mean, with your environment in general, it's important, guys, to keep things, people, even things at a distance, okay? To have that awareness over your environment and to not let your guard down. Because I do feel you doubting a little bit. But you're, but you're, I could, I could see you doubting. And what that doubt will create is it will bring down, I'm hearing these defenses. So there is actually a need to be defensive, what? But yeah, I mean, hey, being defensive, I mean, it just, it's neither good or bad. It just depends on the situation, the circumstances, where you find yourself in. Sometimes you have to be defensive or not. I mean, if you, it beca sometimes you have to be, sometimes you don't. And I feel like you do. You have to. This is also saying like, listen, whatever choices, decisions you've made or whatever conclusion it is that you have come to, it's like you need to stick to that. You need to reinforce what you know. We have the three of cups. What's this three of cups? Oh, tower. What is this three of cups? Hello, what did I just say? Like you need to be defensive? Look, look at this person. Uh, you need to be, <laughs> it's the nine of wands, isn't it? Yeah, you see, you can't let your guard down, guys. And I feel like that could, and, and what is it talking about? Again, for each and every one of you, you're you're dealing with something unique to you. But, you know, something that I'm seeing here is a particular person. Like you're moving away from something. You've made a decision. You know there's something that isn't good for you. That's clearly evident here. Not only that, I'm hearing this is not, this is not only about what you're moving away from. This is actually more so about what you're moving towards. What are you moving towards? What's up there, over there in the distance like that you see? You see this person there at the very front of the boat? They're looking forward. What do you see? What's up? What's over there? Why have you chosen the decisions, the choices that you've made already in the past, this month of November that you're making? Why? What is it that's over there? Love. Now, you might not know. You might not know who your love is or what this is necessarily. I Meaning it could be something completely unknown. 
it love love awaits as a matter of fact look i'm trying really hard not to make this into a love reading but some of you need to hear it love is over there i mean surrender that love is waiting for you love is waiting for you over there on that other side surrender all that is happening at the present moment surrender you've received messages you're receiving a message this november that i'm hearing that's going to help you i'm getting i'm getting goosebumps that's going to help you surrender guys but you know some i'm hearing like this also like i'm hearing surrender 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 And I, and I, and the, the feeling that I'm getting right now is like, gosh, I wish that I could do more or I, I wish that because I feel like you're being asked to just let it go. Let it like, you know, there's an issue here. There's an issue there. Just let it resolve itself. You don't have to fix it. You don't have to fix it. Uh, Scorpio, you don't. You shouldn't fix it. As a matter of fact, you sh you should you shouldn't fix it. Or you know, sometimes when we're asked to su surrender, you, you know what that means as well. It's like forget about all the tiny little details. Oh well, you know, this isn't like okay. Let me close this up, right? Like wrap it up. No, you don't have that choice. I mean, you you could choose to do anything, right? The choice is yours, but I'm just giving you an example. Like you don't have that luxury. You, I mean, you could give yourself that luxury, but I don't think that is something that's beneficial to you. You're just being asked to surrender. Oh, well, you know, well, what about this? You know, I, I was hoping, well, I, I, I hope that I could, you know, maybe close this up over here and not kind of leave it hanging like that. Or you know, it's like, listen, no. Just surrender it, release it, and let it go. Let it go. Re and look, I'm. this is you. Like, really? But do I have to? Like, now? Is this the right time? <laughs> is this, do, do I just let this slip by or do I just let this go like that? Like, I'm kind of on the fence on what to do. Re surrender. That's the message this time around, Scorpio. Surrender, let it go. Don't try to fix it. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Just leave it hanging if it's going to hang. If it's hanging, just leave it hanging. Like, let it just that just right now, what you need to do is you need to stay focused. Is that the message we got, right? There was a message about staying focused and for you to create boundaries. Why are boundaries important? For each and every one of you, that's the reason why you need to have strong boundaries this time around will differ. But let's see. We have the, what is this? The hermit reversed. Oh, because otherwise you'll be delaying. You'll be delaying. What did I say? It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. And we saw in this deck, what did we see? We saw, maybe they're here or they're not. We saw a labyrinth and then we saw, was the other card, did the other card say patience? It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Well, I take that back. <laughs> it's about the destination right now. <laughs> it's about the destination. Or let's look at it another way, yeah. It's about the destination. And what I mean by that is like, you need to get going. It's like, no, it's not about the destination. Like it is, but it's not. It's about the journey for sure. It still is all about the journey and everything you've learned or are learning, seeing, picking up. But right now you're being asked to create boundaries because your destination I'm hearing is waiting for you over there. You see, this is the hermit and it's reverse. So it's like you going backwards. You can, it's your choice. You can always choose if you don't want to leave things hanging or I don't want to leave that person hanging or I don't want to leave this situation here. I was hoping that maybe I could wrap it up like this or, you know, I would feel much better if I would just, um, you know, do this or that. Maybe to derive a sense of, I don't know, completion or something, whatever. 
You can certainly do that, but listen, I'm here to tell you, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to tell you, you know, what's happening, what's going on. And, uh, well, based on that, you, you have a broader perspective on, on how to navigate, right? This month of November, the hermit is reversed. So you see, I'm seeing this as like you going backwards. This could also be you like not learning, uh, you know, a lesson or maybe not learning. It could be maybe relearning, relearning a lesson. It's like you have already taken this subject matter, uh, Scorpio. Like, do you really want to take it again? Like you've already learned what you've had to learn about this. And I think, and, and you know, I don't feel like you are, there's a lack of awareness here at all with you. I, I think that you understand messages. Like, I feel like you're well-informed. Listen, don't go backwards. Don't take a step back. Not now. You need, it's like you need to move forward. You need to continue on this transition, okay? You do. You need to continue on this transition, guys. And look, the nine, what happens in the nine of wands is you've been traveling I mean, you've been traveling a long road and the energy that you do have, you need to use it wisely and, and wisely means on yourself. You're, you this is going to lead you to success is going to lead you to wherever you need to be. I'm hearing on time with this three of cups. Is there a reunion of some sort? I'm getting that feel that there is, guys. There's a reunion of some sort. All right, let's get some more messages. That's what's happening. That's what's going on, all right, this time around. More messages for my dear Scorpio. More messages. Okay, more messages for Scorpio. Let's see, let's see for this November. We have flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Flowers, the fool. Have the courage to embrace change. Take risks. Be adventurous. Flowers, be generous. I'm hearing be marriage. And that's the feel that I was getting. Like I'm seeing like this as like somebody being generous with you. That's the way that I was seeing it. However, I was going to say right before I saw this marriage card. I was going to say, be generous with yourself, guys. Buy yourself flowers. Have you ever bought yourself flowers? Like buy yourself nice things. Like you don't have to buy anything, but just do nice things for yourself. Be generous with yourself. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Happiness, emotional fulfillment is yours, guys. It's there. Have the courage to embrace change. You just, you just, this, there's just one thing you got to do. I'm hearing have courage to embrace change. Take risks and be adventurous. Now, I also feel like this is somebody taking a risk with you. A risk? Is it a risk? Maybe. <laughs> uh, flowers, be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Yeah, guys, I see somebody being very generous with you. Marriage, you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. This is what you're attracting, guys. This is what's waiting for you on that other side. So do not be delayed, guys. Listen, I know that maybe you don't want to leave this that way or that, you know, you don't want to leave these shoes untied or leave this unorganized. Like I know you, if it was up to you, you would choose to, I mean, tie these shoes. You would choose to organize this and not leave a mess. Not that there is a mess. What I'm saying here is like, I know that you, if it was up to you, you would, um, you would have it maybe another way, right? But, and, and you do, you have that choice, but like, I think it's best for you to surrender. Just surrender, guys. Surrender, I'm hearing that it's your time. Surrender that it's time for, you know, this love. It's, it's time for emotional fulfillment, guys. That's it, it's time, it's time, and it's time. And don't, why wait? Why, why delay it? Why do you, why delay it when you don't have to? Eagle, you soar toward your destiny with greater clarity and strength. Like that's you. You're this eagle. Keep your eyes. This is foresight. You're this eagle. Like you can see what's up ahead. You have incredible foresight. You know what's over there on that other side. Soar towards your destiny. Your destiny is over there. Right, oh, right across, right across this the water right here on this other side, guys. 
You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. I love this. All right. One last message before I go. One last message. What do you want to tell Scorpio? This month of November, just right now, what 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 do you want to tell them? Maybe something they 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 can look forward to. What do you want? This is your moment, spirit, to share something with Scorpio, perhaps that maybe only they will understand. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, why does it have to be all that? Let's take that one. A soulmate is the six of cups. Could be also somebody from your past. Oh my God. Let's put these in. Yeah, I'm putting these in. Someone from your past. If not, your past is another lifetime. <laughs> Six of cups. Oh, this is so sweet. This is a soulmate. Oh, look, and that's you. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Look, you see the, that woman, the way she's holding that cup. Oh, she's holding that cup and it's pouring, guys. This is love, guys. This is such a special, this is such a special connection. This also could be children, like just happy. This is happiness. This is dreaming too. It's like, I'm mean, hearing close your eyes and, and seeing memories, envisioning all of this. This is what you should know, guys. Love. There is, there's love. There's a, there's love and there's affection. Love is yours. This, this is such a sp special, such a special connection, union here between you and another. It doesn't have to be romantic. But for the majority of you, yes, it is. The Knight of Cups. It's like, go, 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 go. What is it? You know what this feels like to me? Like right now I'm hearing, like as I was looking at this card, I was thinking, what are, what are you doing standing there? Get on that horse and go. But it's like she's marinating. Sitting in these feelings. Like, wait, it's like, I don't want it to happen, but it's like, you do want it to happen. It's like, I can't wait for it to happen, but I'm just like holding, I just want to hold on to this feeling. All right, um, one last message from here, and then we're going to get, actually, let's get these here. That's what you should know. That's what Spirit wants to tell you. Like, hold on to this feeling. Is there a song that says, hold on to this feeling? Amethyst, relieving, revealing your true self. Wellness, the recovery of health and wellness is here. Oh, healing, recovering emotionally, spiritually, mentally. Physically, there's healing that is happening. Wellness, the recovery of health and wellness is here. There, it's done, it's happening. You're no longer fighting the fight. You are actually healing. And part of healing is fighting. Sometimes you have to fight a battle and it's part of the healing process, but you're not necessarily healing, healing, but you're fighting to heal and it's part of the healing process, right? I'm hearing you're, you're done with the fighting. You've been fighting, fighting, fighting. Now you're like truly, truly recovering and healing, guys wellness, revealing your true self. Now let's get back to this. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. Oh, that's, that's it right there. Like, look, this is you. Like, I don't want to let this go ever. This is so precious guys. The love, this connection, whatever this is, this, this, this is beautiful. Whether you, you already know it's there. Whether, I mean, it's, whether it's already there, might not be there physically in front of you, but you know, it's there and you know, you're moving in that direction. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel love for who you truly are. Oh, that's so sweet. Right? It's like, you could just, you could just be yourself. This is true love, guys. This is a love, perhaps, that a different type or a, a beautiful love, let's just say. Let's get one more card. Revealing your true self. Stress reduction. Okay, watermelon tourmaline. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. Remember you're healing. So listen to your body when you're healing. The most important thing that you should do is 
awareness, having awareness over your body, specifically your senses, how you're feeling. Okay, well, you know, my back's hurting a lot or, you know, I feel that I'm feeling a lot more spacey or, you know, maybe I am, I don't know, like whatever, just listen to your body. If you have a headache, distress, like, okay, maybe I need a little bit, a little less of this, a little more of that. So adjust every day, listen to your body and give your body what it needs because you're healing and you're recovering, guys. So de-stress your mind, body, and schedule, okay, as you need rest, recharge, and revive. What is this, apophyllite? This is a crystal deck. Increase support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. Oh, increase support. Aquamarine, divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. Leading you to fulfillment, divine life purpose, trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. All right, Scorpio, one last card and I'm done, okay? I wish I could stay here with you longer, but I, you know, I gotta take, I gotta take this advice too. You know, I have to listen to, I have stress. I need to do the stress reduction and I'm feeling tired. <laughs> I need to just stop. I'm done for, I'm done for today. I wish I could do more. I planned on doing all uh, water signs. So I'm just having to, I'm just going to do Pisces tomorrow and finish up with the air signs. Hopefully we'll see again. Listen to your bodies, guys. I'm listening to my bodies and my body's like, I gotta go Scorpio. I have to surrender, okay? Completion. You'll reach some kind of completion or you're very close, leaving you feeling accomplished and happy. A new chapter will emerge and you'll once again start the next challenge. Ooh, completion. All right. You're going to get everything done. Everything that needs to be done this November, you're going to get it done, okay? So listen, get some rest, okay? You'll get more done if you get rest, okay? If you distress, if, if you... If you um. Take a break, guys. Really, you'll get a lot more done, okay? Let's see, let's see. Intuition, protection. I, you, know, you know how I was telling you, like, boundaries, guys? Uh, there's some people you got to keep at a distance, okay? Trust that you are being divinely guided right now. You hear that? There will be extra protection around you as you face uncertainty over the changes that are occurring in your life. Intuition. Your intuition is your superpower. You are harnessing your psychic abilities and learning to trust that inner voice to guide the decisions you make. One more card. And I'm done. <gasps> New love. Okay, two cards, this one and that one. <laughs> you are being led down the path of unlearning and relearning to make smarter decisions and see you navigate uncharted ground ahead. Trade, tread knowing for curiosity learning. So as I'm reading this, I'm being reminded of that, of the, um, of the hermit reverse. So I feel like that is also symbolic there. The hermit, when we saw the hermit reverse, it's like you're unlearning, you're unlearning something for sure you are being led down the path of unlearning and relearning to make smarter decisions as you navigate uncharted ground ahead trade trade knowing for curiosity now last but not least let's read it let's read it your love life is about to take off a new romantic offer we saw it your love life is about to take off a new romantic offer or even several not maybe okay for sure several offers are coming your way don't let the past hold you back embrace the newness you hear that this is what i have for you scorpio thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you as always truly it was an honor and my pleasure you guys take care okay bye bye